Hi guys, welcome back to one more video on DIY projects. In our channel, you can already see many videos on making gaming steering wheels. All these wheels can be used to play games only on the computer. But we received many comments from subscribers requesting to make a steering wheel which supports on smartphone. So in today's video, we have come up with a easy and simple way of making steering wheel to play mobile games. So make sure you watch the complete video. Let's get started. In our computer based wheels, we used Arduino board as a main controller and it communicated via USB port. But for this project build, we'll be using ESP Room32 development board, which comes with built in Wi Fi and Bluetooth option and will use wireless communication with the smartphone. For this game controller, we can use up to 13 digital buttons and 4 analog inputs. But for demonstration, I'll use B10K potentiometers, 3 of them, and 2 push buttons. Additionally, I'll use breadboard and jumper wires for easy connections. Coming to the connections, first I'll take 3 holes and ground of the ESP board onto the breadboard as common. For all the three potentiometers, the first pin goes to 3 volts and the last pins goes to common ground and the center pins are for signals connected to D15, D32 and D33. For the push buttons, one terminal of all the buttons goes to common ground. Other terminals goes to digital pin 22 and 23. In the same way, you can add one more potentiometer and multiple digital switches according to your requirements. I'll be using Arduino IDE software and this is the code which we'll be using. Here we have two dependencies. First is the board. Since we are using ESP32 board, we have to link the board to our Arduino IDE. And second one is the libraries. To start with a board, copy this board reference link from the description box and go to file preferences and paste it in the additional board manager. If you already have some other links here, just use comma and paste the new link and click OK. Next, to download the boards, connect your system to the internet, go to tools, board, board manager. So here, search for ESP32 and install ESP32 by Espressive Systems. So I have already installed. You should get installed message like this. Moving further on the libraries, we have to install these two. For that, go to sketch, include library, manage libraries, and search for ESP32 Bailey Gamepad.
So if you click on install, it gives this message asking us to install the second library also. So we can give install all and it's done. So now we can close and code is ready for compilation. For code upload, I'll connect the ESP hardware to the computer. Before we upload the code, I'll give some information on the pin definitions. This will be helpful if you want to add more buttons or analog inputs. This is the standard BLE gamepad code. Here we can see there are multiple macros defined as per the joystick button naming convention. So whatever the pin we are using, we have to just declare that pin number here. And for unused macros, just keep it zero as I have done here. And similarly for joystick axis, on the right side we are using two potentiometers which are defined here and one potentiometer on the left side and the fourth one I have kept zero. Now to upload the code, first we have to identify the COM port number. Go to device manager. Under ports, you can check the COM port number. In the tools, select the board as ESP32 development module. along with appropriate COM port. And click on upload. After uploading the code, we don't need computer. The board only needs 5V power supply for working. So I'll be connecting it to the power bank. To connect with the smartphone, turn on Bluetooth, pair new device and ESP32 BLE gamepad. After connecting, to test the inputs, we can download gamepad tester application from the Play Store. and open this Android gamepad. So this is the interface which has buttons and joystick access. So if I press the buttons, we can see the digital inputs getting activated. And for potentiometers, the right and left joystick axis are moving. So everything is working fine. Let's give it a try with the game. Since the smartphone treat the controller as a joystick, we have to find the games which has joystick support. For now, I'll use it on Rush Rally 3. If you find any other games with joystick support, let me know in the comment section below. Inside the game, I'll assign the controls, potentiometers for steering left, right, accelerator and brake, and one digital switch for the handbrake.
so all the controls work as expected in order to get more realistic feel we have to use same components in the form of steering wheel and pedals from my previous build i already have the steering wheel which is connected to 10k potentiometer directly to the shaft and this diy analog pedals having potentiometers if you want complete steps for building this you can refer to our previous tutorial links from the description box similarly i have done the circuit as shown before and all the inputs are working correctly in the gamepad tester now it's time to enjoy the game So this is how you can make wheel and pedals for your smartphone. I hope this video was interesting and helpful as well. We'll be coming up with more interesting projects. So make sure you subscribe and follow us on Instagram for more updates. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in the next one.